Welcome back to Intimath. This is grade nine, lesson four, and we're gonna learn how to solve linear equations. An equation is an equality where you have an unknown and you need to find that unknown in order to balance the equation. An equation has an equal sign. Uh, it is different from an expression that does not have an equal sign. An equation of the form ax equals b is a linear equation where a and b are given numbers and x is the unknown value that you're going to be trying to find out. a and b uh, and the, the whole equation can always be multiplied or divided by the same number as long as both sides of the equation are multiplied and divided by that same number as long as that number is not zero. In order to solve a linear equation you need to follow certain steps. Always do reverse operation to what you see in order to move uh, a value to the other side of the equation, of the equal sign. Start with brackets if you have brackets and get rid of them by distribution. So then uh, you will be able to group variables on one side and constants on the other, on the other side of the equation. Uh, the sides are determined by the equal sign uh, every single time. Next, you are trying to isolate for the unknown. So you will collect like terms with variables and constants, and you will then divide by the coefficient of the unknown. So coefficient in this case is a. Um, Let's look at one of the examples so that you have a good idea of how to actually solve a linear equation. Let's solve this equation. So our goal is to find the value of x to make this equation balanced so that the left side equals the right side at the end if we were to substitute the value of x into the equation. So the first step is to distribute the terms over the brackets so that we get rid of the brackets. 2x times x, 2x times 5 will give me 2x squared plus 10x. Then plus 3 equals. Now distribute 3 over each term inside the brackets and you'll get 3x minus 3 and then plus 2x squared minus 8. The next step is to group the variables on the left and the constants on the right, keeping their uh, coefficients, of course. Now, when I move my terms around the equal sign, I change their sign to the opposite. So if I move 3x to the left, where all the variables will be, I will make it negative 3x and so on. So 2x squared will remain here. 10x is already here. Then I'll move 3x to this side, negative 3x. And then 2x squared as well, negative 2x squared on the left. Next, negative 8 is already there. Negative 3 is already here. And I'll move positive 3 to the other side and make it negative as well. Now I will collect like terms and add them and subtract them. So as I can see, 2x squared and 2x squared will cancel each other out because one is positive, one is negative. They'll meet in the middle at zero if I were to do it on a number line. Now this gives me 7x. And on the other side, I have negative 8 negative 3 and negative 3, which gives me negative 14. That's correct. And the last step is divide by the coefficient of the unknown variable. So by 7 and by 7 on both sides of the equation. Always remember what you do to one side, you do to the other in terms of multiplication and division. Once I divide by 7, I'll get the value of x, which is negative 2. And you can always check by substituting this value back first into the left side of the equation, then into the right side of the equation, 
And if you end up with the same answer on both sides, you got the correct solution. This is it for this lesson. I hope you learned something new. And now it's time to practice. And I will see you in grade 9, lesson 5.